Nice cool day today, August 15th. Maybe August is gonna be our best summer month. Just wanted to take a little minute and talk to you. Look at here, we got two intact males right here. And I've got, uh, Jessie is in heat. And uh, she's in standing heat. There's the third intact male. But you notice that these male dogs are not touching Jesse. And the reason they're not touching Jesse is because I am here and I have told them not to touch Jesse. And I'm here to tell you, if I wasn't here watching, then uh, they would be touching <laughs> Jesse. <laughs> and the reason I'm sharing this with you and telling you this is you have got to get control of your dogs. You've got to have control of your dog. Now people come here and they want me to help them train their dog. And they'll come and they'll say, well, my dog is barking at people on the leash. It's lunging at cars on the leash. It's storm lunging at other dogs on the leash. It's running to the front window and it's barking at passers-by. So they think they have a problem with a specific behavior, but what they really have is a relationship problem. Yes, you can come over here and I can show you some technique, but I can do it. I can take your dog anywhere. Bring me your dog. If it's barking at other dogs, if it's lunging at cars, you know, I can take it anywhere and I can make it do what I want it to do. But what happens is people come here and I show them technique. Oh yeah, this is working great here. Oh yeah, okay, I'll go home and do this. Well, then it falls apart. There's our in heat girl. There's a boy and the other two boys. Now Storm would really like to jump Shelby but you know they're not going to pull this garbage when I'm out here because I'm the one in control. It's not about the specific behavior. It's not about the jumping, the barking, the lunging, the pulling you down the steps, the racing through the door, all the things. It's about who is in charge of, look at me back off Shelby. Who's in charge? Are you in charge or are the dog in charge? Now this means in every single aspect of your relationship, if you're letting your dog, if you, okay, right now, if you're watching this video and your dog is sitting on your lap, there she is, the girl of the hour. Um, if your dog is sitting on your lap, then put it on the floor and see what happens. And if it turns around and climbs back up in your lap uninvited, well, the dog is running your household. The dog is running you. The dog is running the show. And, but... We let them get away with all of these little things that don't bother us, but are still, it's the same thing. If the dog jumps up in your lap without being invited, it's the same thing as the dog lunging on the leash and barking at other dogs. The dog is in control. So if you want to change your dog's behavior, you have to change the relationship. Come on over, I'll show you technique. Um, drive on out. We'll have a training session. I have so many people coming over right now for this kind of stuff. So that's why I'm doing this video. You have to change the relationship. Every aspect. If the dog is demanding anything from you, if the dog is using you for a place to sit, if the dog is coming up to you and shoving a toy in your face and telling you to throw it, if the dog is coming up and barking to tell you that it's hungry, then why would you be surprised when your dog is lunging at cars, lunging at people, lunging at other dogs, lunging at bicycles? It's doing what it's always done. It's running the show. So technique, I can show you technique, but you have to work on yourself. You have to work on the relationship with your dog. You have to work on who's in control because the technique is going to fall apart. I can, you come here, I can do it. I can show you how to do it. Yeah, 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 this is working great. But you go home and you keep telling the dog in every aspect, you're in control, you're in control, you're in control. Then you get into that situation. The only reason that you want to address it is because it bothers you. It should all bother you. 
they should not come up and ever put their paws on you. Do you see any of these dogs jumping up on me? No. Unless they're invited, they are not to touch me. Look at her go by me. Not gonna touch me. If your dog comes, look at this. <laughs> You're not gonna touch me. I might touch you. I might push you out of my space. If your dog, if you can't do that, if you can't walk towards your dog and have it back off like that, the dog is in control. Do you step around your dog when you're walking through the house? I don't, I'm coming along. I'm like, oh, I'm coming this way. The dog better move, okay? I actually, and you know who you are if you're watching, had someone come and was sitting in a recliner with the footrest down because the dog was laying against the footrest. I said, well, don't you wanna put your feet up? Well, I wouldn't wanna disturb the dog. Why the heck do you think you're having problems with your dog, okay? You have got to be the one that's in control. You've got to be the one that they yield to. Doesn't mean I'm being mean. It's just establishing a hierarchy. Now, where's our in heat girl? There she is. I'm telling you that I could put these two together right now, go in the house, have my breakfast, and she'd be pregnant. These male dogs want to mate with Jesse. They are not going to do it in my presence because I, at least not right now, because I'm not, I haven't put them in the breeding pen. I haven't told them it's okay. But I don't have to worry about anything happening as long as I'm out here with them. You see that? Look at Storm. Hey! He wants to get after Shelby and run Shelby off. So I'm going to run him off. I just ran him out of the pack. Get it? Get it? Take control of your dog and all that other garbage is going to fade away. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.